Hi there. I recently decided that I wanted to start recording and editing these videos uh, at 4K. So that meant uh, upgrading the uh, original drawing tablet, my old Huion Canvas Pro, uh, which only supports up to QHD resolution uh, and upgrading to something that could do 4K. I did look uh, briefly uh, at the Wacom Cintiq Pro 27, um, but a tablet that costs over £3,000 doesn't uh, include the stand for that price. Um, and having had issues with some of the Wacom uh, displays previously in terms of the fan noise uh, actually being louder than my main PC, that was uh, something that I decided not to go for. So instead, uh, I decided to go for the updated uh, version of the Huion tablet uh, and go for the Pro 4K display. Uh, I was able to pick it up on sale uh, a while back and got it for just over a thousand pounds. I got it for 1,050, which was an absolute bargain. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of look at uh, unboxing setting it up, uh, trying it out with uh, Rebel and other things uh, and seeing how we get on. My name's Pete, welcome to Basement Picasso. So the box that it comes in, it's fairly standard uh, packaging. Uh, inside uh, you've got a uh, box with all the uh, accessories uh, nicely separated out, all the charging cables, power supply etc we'll have a look at in a second. And then we've got the main uh, monitor itself. Uh, the first thing that I noticed uh, immediately on taking it out is even though it's physically smaller in dimensions uh, compared to the last Huion tablet that I had um, it does weigh uh, a bit more. It's, it's certainly a very solid uh, feeling monitor, that's for sure. So inside the box of accessories, there's uh, various things, including the standard power cable. Uh, there's the glove and screen wipe. The power cable uh, comes in two parts with the power adapter and the mains lead. Uh, one, thing, one of the things that I noticed Later on, is uh, there's a couple of the cables that are slightly shorter than what I had with the original Huion tablet, uh, which uh, gave me a couple of issues when I was trying to set it up with my particular setup. And um, we've got a standard set of uh, USB cables uh, and the alternative uh, European type adapter. Previous tablet that I had had uh, keys down either side and touch strips on it. Uh, the latest one, there's no keys on the, the actual device, so what you get instead is the uh, additional controller, which is a USB controller to charge up, but then you can detach it and it's actually usable as a, a wireless a keyboard a, with a dial, which we'll have a little look at later as well. And then finally we've got the pen and uh, to my eyes this looks exactly the same as the pen that I had on the uh, original display which was very good. I was quite happy uh, with that. Um, the only difference with the, with the pen is you get uh, two different types of nibs. So you get a plastic nib which is slightly harder uh, and you also get a slightly softer felt type nib which gives a, a, a slightly smoother uh, feel on the screen. So you've got the black ones and the, the grey ones. The black ones are the plastic, the grey ones are the felt. The original Huion tablet I uh, had mounted on uh, an Ergotron ARM flexible support system. So first thing I wanted to do was to swap that onto the new tablet. So that involved taking the monitor off, taking the uh, main uh, support arm um, off the back of that monitor, which uh, is using a, a 100mm 
visa mount so it's just the four screws that you take out uh, and then you can lift that off uh, and then it was just a case of uh, fitting that back onto the back of the new monitor. The new tablet does have built-in legs but it doesn't have any form of adjustable support either uh, on the device itself or uh, included in the package. So if you want something with more flexible mounting then that's something you would need to uh, provide yourself. Because the new monitor is slightly heavier than the original one, uh, I needed to adjust the tension on the Ergotron arm uh, and that involves uh, tightening up the spring so that it's got enough tension to be able to hold the weight of it. Um, that's fairly quick to do in terms of just uh, tightening up the spring to, to be able to add the extra tension and then test to see once it's got enough to hold the weight of the monitor. Once you get it tightened up correctly, then you should find that the arm will hold the weight of the monitor and keep it balanced at any position you want to set it at. And that allows you to rotate it around into various positions, tilt it, uh, turn it. And you can even rotate it around 90 degrees if you want to uh, use it vertically as well. In terms of connectors around the back, You've got the two main inputs, there's a display port and an HDMI. Uh, you've got the USB-C connector uh, and then you've got the power adapter. And then at the side you've got two USB type A ports. So I've got my loop deck in one and then I put the wireless um, Bluetooth connector for the Huey on canvas controller and the other. Before I set up the new tablet on the Ergotron arm, uh, I did have a quick look at the two monitors side by side. And it's very difficult to capture some of the subtle differences between them uh, on another camera. But looking at them, uh, it was pretty immediately obvious that the, the 4K monitor is is certainly noticeably crisper and clearer. The original uh, QHD monitor uh, was generally very good but it did have a bit of an issue with some of the colour rendition particularly in the the blues and cyans particularly uh, and it was pretty immediately noticeable that the colour quality and colour rendition on the 4K tablet it certainly seems much better, much more consistent uh, throughout given the, the current uh, initial factory setting that it's just running on at the moment. In terms of resolution, the 4K is obviously uh, clearer. Uh, it's a little uh, difficult to see in terms of, sort of taking the photos, but we'll try and do a, a side by side. Um, what you do obviously notice is because it's an etched glass screen, the, the 4K isn't crystal sharp that you might get with a, a standard 4K monitor. Um, the, the matte coating does have a, a very slight crystalline fuzziness to it, um, but it's still sharper than the QHD uh, and the matte effect on the display is really effective. Uh, it's very good at reducing the reflections and making it feel like a, a more traditional matte surface that you're, you're actually working on. Um, so overall, uh, initial impressions from the, the visual quality is uh, really uh, impressed uh, in terms of uh, what it looks like. So the Huion comes with software that allows you to configure the display. Uh, so you get the uh, ability to select the device. So we've got the Canvas Pro 24 uh, GT, which is the monitor. Uh, and then on the pen display, the press keys aren't relevant for this because on the, there's no keys actually on the monitor itself. Um, but you can set the working area. So if you've got multiple monitors, you can set it to whichever monitor's relevant. Uh, and then you can do the monitor calibration and that allows you to just go through and uh, do the usual 
uh, nine dot calibration process just click each of those dots in turn and that will then make sure that the screen's calibrated and from what I've been seeing so far in terms of edge tracking and positioning uh, it certainly seems to be very responsive and pretty accurate even uh, right up to the edge uh, there's also the digital pen configuration uh, so you've got a little test area you can see and you can check against the um, pressure sensitivity it's got 8,000 levels of pressure um, I find I had to adjust the curve slightly so that I could get smoother low pressure response uh, and then going right up to the, the top that seems to suit my style best but you've got flexibility to adjust it to, to what you need so that's the monitor and the pen uh, and then what sits alongside that is the uh, attached mini key dial uh, and again you can configure that to uh, be able to set the various keys and you can uh, do that for all the programs uh, or you can pick an individual program you can add one that's running uh, you can then select that program that then allows you to uh, program all the the keys individually uh, and it will auto detect uh, which programs running uh, that you can then use those keys uh, what's quite nice uh, with this it's got uh, actual uh, sort of pads on the back so it's got a kind of soft surface and that means you can actually rest it on the display and if the display is at a reasonably low angle then that won't uh, slide off you can then use those use those keys uh, the other thing it's got is it does have this uh, rotary control and you can configure that uh, as well and that's actually got three separate options so for something like Rebel I can do uh, zoom in and out uh, I can rotate the canvas and I can do brush size uh, and that's the, the same three functions that I use on my uh, loop deck uh, the difference with this is you need to click the middle button to cycle between each three of those uh, and it'll actually come up on your main monitor to show which option you've just selected so it's not quite as good as three individual controls because you've got to uh, remember which one you're on and kind of toggle through them uh, but you know quite often if you're just using something like brush size and you just want to keep it on that um, then having the rotary control on that uh, is really helpful uh, and really useful it is a wireless a device you can charge it's got USB-C connector and it's got the power button uh, at the side uh, you'll see the wee light comes on uh, once it's on um, so that's that's the main software for being able to set it up and configure everything so if we have a look at the uh, tablet in action uh, first of all I've got it actually sitting on the desk just using the legs that are provided. I've taken it off the Ergotron arm just to try it in different positions and I think in general I'm finding this uh, a really good uh, position to, to use the tablet in. Um, so if we have a look at uh, something like uh, realistic and create a new drawing and we'll make something that's uh, 4k in resolution so we can just uh, use the right size uh, and then uh, first of all just from a visual perspective the the resolution the quality of the the image um, looks uh, absolutely superb to me it's certainly noticeably clearer and sharper compared to the uh, even the the previous one which was the 1440p display what you should hopefully be able to see is the um, stylus is picking up both tilt and uh, turn so uh, if we hold the pen up straight then you see the wee dot in the middle it means that we get uh, quite a fine line whereas if I hold it uh, over at an angle then it uh, allows uh, a much broader stroke so it's picking up that uh, sensitivity it's also got the uh, directional uh, rotational um, sensitivity so as we rotate it around we can get uh, different angles and different shapes um, so that's picking up all the the different uh, elements in terms of 
uh, tilt and rotation, which is really good. If we use a different tool, uh, something like the pencil, you'll see that if we hold it very uh, perpendicular, then we get very fine marks. And if we put it down on its side, then it gives you a very broad stroke. And that broad stroke is angled uh, whichever way you want to uh, work with it. So that gives a, a really natural uh, feel, which is uh, really good. Um, we've got the, the little keypad here, so you can uh, set those up. I've got uh, undo and redo type things. Uh, we can hide all the uh, icons around the side, um, and then we can zoom in and out uh, as well. Um, the, the other thing that I've noticed with this is so the um, the accuracy, uh, particularly towards the edge, is very good. The line quality is really good. It's really straight. There's no jitter or judder uh, when you're drawing straight lines. And the the tilt and turn um, is also um, pretty good, even when you get quite close to the edge of the screen. This was an issue with the previous Huey on tablet I had. If you got anywhere near the edge of the screen, um, the, the rotation and tilt uh, sensitivity started to fall off. With this one, it's only when the pen physically goes outside the confines of the screen that you'll lose that. Anywhere inside it, it seems to be um, pretty accurate re right up to the edge of the screen. So the the responsiveness, um, the accuracy uh, seems to be absolutely first class. Uh, obviously, you'd spend very little time right up at the edge of the screen. Um, but just to, to be able to, to know that you can make uh, big marks and shapes uh, right across the, the whole canvas um, is, uh, is really impressive, uh, really effective. And then if we drop into something like uh, Rebel, then we can get a real sense of how the extra resolution works with something that's got a bit more uh, texture to it. Um, I have to say this this for me is uh, where it, it really shines in terms of having this kind of display um, at 4K. The the quality of the image, the, the resolution, the, the way that it can um, bring out the textures combined with the matte uh, display just makes it look incredibly realistic. Uh, it really does sort of feel like you could just touch these textures, they are so convincing. And in terms of a a, a painting experience, um, I have to say this, uh, it was certainly what I was hoping for in terms of spending uh, that sort of money on a, a monitor, but the, the quality of the image, the quality of the textures, the, the resolution, um, and just the, the general feeling of the, the painting experience, um, I have to say, is uh, really very, very good. Um, so from uh, initial experience so far, I have to say, uh, very, very impressed with, uh, with what I've seen. So I guess at the end of the day, the main question comes down to, um, a, is this a tablet that's worth well over a thousand pounds? As I say, I picked it up for thousand and fifty which was on discount as uh, as far as I'm concerned an absolute bargain um, I think it's a, a premium product um, at a, a really respectable price at 1300 pounds uh, I mean it's obviously it's a um, serious bit of kit at that kind of price point comparing to almost four thousand pounds for a Wacom tablet I have to say I can't see anything in this that I, I think I'm missing uh, and I think it, uh, you know this this genuinely feels like a, a, a quality product so I, I'm personally absolutely delighted uh, that I've picked this up. Um, screen looks fantastic uh, and ultimately it's going to let me record these videos at 4K um, which is hopefully something that you'll be able to appreciate and enjoy once we start doing these uh, more of these videos. So I hope that was helpful. Um, thank you very much for watching. You got any thoughts or comments, um, please feel free to uh, leave them in the section below. Uh, and otherwise, hopefully catch up with you soon.